What's up everyone? All right, so this morning I woke up, I got the dogs to the groomers, got myself a little bit of breakfast, filmed a video, which is the exciting video that I'm announcing. Oh, I got some content done that is like for other videos in the future. And then I think I'm gonna film a PR haul, but not yet. I actually want to go to Target real quick. I took off my gel nail polish like these have been my real nails for a while I've got rid of acrylics a long time ago. I'm just tired of sitting at the nail salon I hate going to the nail salon like I seriously hate it So I think I'm just gonna take a break from it for a while I think I'm gonna go to Target and get some like a good base coat because I don't have a really good base coat I think all mine are like expired and then um, like a nail buffer and a new nail file So I'm gonna get like some nail stuff there Then I'm gonna go over and get my stuff from my PO box Hopefully I got I have to like add a couple more items into my Ipsy video that was not in my bag when I picked it up in LA. So they're sending it to me again. I wanna get lunch. I'm kinda feeling like Chipotle. I really want rice and black beans right now. Like, I don't know why, but that just sounds so good. Hopefully the dogs will be done by then and I can pick them up on my way home, film the other parts to the Ipsy video, edit for a while, get that stuff done. And then if I have time, I will do my PR haul. I gotta put the PR haul off for a little bit until I get my other like time sensitive of things done that need to be done and going live for you guys tomorrow. That is where I'm at today. Super excited. <sighs> Baby's been kicking a ton. Crazy, right? I'm actually 20. Holy moly, you guys. I'm 24 weeks today. Oh, I just threw up in my mouth. Acid reflux is like so bad all the time now. I don't even like eat anything unhealthy or I don't even eat anything and I still have it. That's how well it's been. But let's read all about 24 weeks. Can't believe it. We're 24 weeks. We're exactly six months. We're getting there. I can't wait. Okay, so baby is the size of a cantaloupe. I don't know if you guys can see that. Cantaloupe. Ah, cantaloupe sounds so bomb. She is 11.8 inches long. So honestly, I think she's a, definitely a foot long because she actually is measuring bigger than the average. Um, she's 1.3 pounds. Probably a little heavier than that because like I said, she's measuring bigger than the average. She's like three to four days ahead of the average which is just a little under a week. Um, it says baby's see-through skin is gradually becoming more opaque and baby's got a new pink glow. Thanks to the small capillaries that have recently formed. Your 10 and a half to 11.8 inch fetus weighs about 12.7 to 20.8 ounces. And every week baby gets closer and closer to being ready to survive and thrive. Drink up, around 24 weeks, your doctor will order a glucose tolerance test, yes, which we have I believe next Tuesday. One of the more memorable prenatal tests to see if you're at risk of gestational diabetes. I am so scared that I am going to have it. I don't know why, but I am so scared. Technically doesn't always just hit you if you are overweight or anything like that. Um, it could be genetics, it could be a number of things. And it actually, a lot of my um, aunts and cousins actually had gestational diabetes and then my grandfather had diabetes. So it runs heavily in my family, so that's what makes me really nervous, but my aunts and my cousins were a little bit on the heavier side when they had it, so I don't know. Um, that's what got me, that's what has me like a little worried because it runs so heavily in my family. Um, basically the test is designed to see how your body processes sugar, so you'll be asked to drink up a cup of sweet drink called glucola, which reminds us of Gatorade and then hang out for an hour, which I'm gonna feel so sick after because sugary drinks really hit me hard now. Like I can't have anything too sugary. I get the passion tea lemonade from Starbucks, but I get it completely unsweetened and everything so it doesn't have all that sweetener in it. Okay, so you know what's also sweet? Those movements and kicks you've been feeling. They seem to get stronger every week. At week 24, baby progress isn't just about internal stuff. It's about looks too. With pinker, more opaque skin, babies looking more and more, well, like a baby. You, on the other hand, are probably experiencing some of the discomforts, discomforts of the later months of pregnancy at week 24. Leg cramp, yeah. Back aches, yeah. Swollen feet, big time. Hang in there, mama to be. So basically a little synopsis says swollen ankles and feet. Be sure to elevate them while you're sitting. I've been doing that a ton. It says leg cramps, which can be a sign of dehydration. I get like, the cramps in my calves in the morning sometimes, but I drink so much water. Back aches, yep, still. 
my back hurts. Lene Nigura, the, um, it's that dark line that runs down the center of your belly. It would fade after the baby's born. I don't have that. Um, I don't think I'm going to get that. Stretch marks, which may continue to appear as your skin stretches even more. Like a lot of people said, some of them don't pop up until the last week. I've been very lucky to have none pop up. I'm not going to be surprised if I get some on my boobs, to be honest, because of how big they've gotten. Using my vicious, like, vicious, like, bump to baby um cream that i tell you guys all the time about i actually think i'm getting a discount code from them so if i have it i will put it up right here i'm obsessed with it it's amazing it's the best body butter to ever use and it's amazing if you're itchy so if you have eczema i would even try it out it's awesome but yeah so there is the baby for 24 weeks i have to say quick little update for 23 weeks i feel her all the time now you guys she kicks me i get the it's i get two different movements i get the flutters where i feel like i'm on a roller coaster and like i'm on a drop and my stomach just dropped so i get that from her and then i get the jabs that are just like boom and i'm just like what like seriously like chill out in there um there was one time she hit me so hard that she made me feel like i had to go pee like instantly and i was just like oh you're a butthead <laughs> but yeah so i feel her all the time i'm waiting for joel to be able to feel her i actually took a nice um don't worry it wasn't a hot bath it was a nice lukewarm bath and last night and i was laying back and i actually saw my belly move it was pretty gnarly like i would like i text my mom and she's just like oh it's only the beginning and joel was just like he sent me the gif of the toy story aliens how they're like whoa <laughs> you know and i was just like yeah i know it's crazy to see it yeah it's just it's been exciting but yeah i've been feeling her all the time now even with that anterior placenta i feel her all the time food aversions have gotten a lot better i'm not getting sick after eating like bad food my energy is up and down i can't be going all day i have to like really take it gradually um i have really bad ligament pain right now you guys i don't i couldn't tell if it's braxton hicks or ligament pain I went to go work out with my trainer that morning but that morning that whole morning i couldn't even walk around i had one time when i got up and i legit went right down to the ground because it hurt so bad to walk like I had the worst period cramps ever. I would have to do a heating pad, Midal Extend Relief because regular Midal wouldn't work for me. I would be down for the day. Like I would be so bad with um, cramps. But this is this was another level. This was like really really bad. And it's like I like I said I go there's good days and there's bad days. Right now I'm having a good day. I have the belly belt that I got and it helped a little bit, but. It's still like the second I get up, I just feel like everything is just like, it just was pains in my lower stomach. You know, with doctors, they don't really say anything because they don't really know. They're just like, oh, seems fine. Like, I mean, you're not bleeding or anything like that. So it's just ligament pain or Braxton Hicks. I, I don't know between the two. If you guys have been through it, let me know what is the, like, what are the real symptoms of Braxton Hicks? Because I was reading about it and I, like, when I read about the symptoms of it online, it didn't sound like it was that. It sounded more like ligament pain. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below from all you guys mommies. I need I need some experienced mommies here. Like there's so much that I can read and study, but you really can't get everything unless you talk to someone who's experienced in it. So that's where you guys really help me out at. But this little girl right here doing well. And I'm just, now that we're done with, I think that's pretty much the update. I'm actually gonna do that board. I gotta, it still says 19 weeks, you guys. I gotta do my board. But um, now I'm gonna go head over to Target, then my PO box, and then I'm gonna get back to Pole. Show you guys what I got real quick. So first off, like, I need a new nail filer, but I feel like nail filers are so hard to come by, like good ones, so I didn't know, cause I couldn't feel them, so I was like, I don't know what I need. I feel like I have like serious, like, liner lips right now nail filers are really hard to find and i couldn't feel these ones because they're all like packaged up so i got a couple different ones so i got this pack right here from tweezer man it comes with three and it says it's professional quality and that there's like different kinds like different grits in here i like the ones that are a little bit like heavier grit and then i got this one from trim because i didn't ow <laughs> I myself on the nose because i didn't know if if how those ones would be or how these ones would be so i grabbed these ones right here and then I also got this trim seven way buffer, which also has a nail filer in it too. So it's like also a buffer to make help with the 
um, your nails. Mine are like a little gritty because I had to file it a little bit to get off the gel. So I took off the gel myself. Took me forever. And then I got a base coat from Orly. So these are for longer lasting manicures and pedicures. And this is the Bonder rubberized base coat. Thought I would try this out because I need one really bad. And then I got two nail polishes. And they're really pretty. So I got these from Essie because I really like Essie. This one right here is really pretty. I love these mint colors. You guys know that these are like my go-to colors. This one is called um, Empowerment, um, number 1511. And then they changed their packaging and I got these ones right here. Oh, it's a gel. Oh, step one, nail color, gel couture. Oh, cool. So it's like a gel kind of nail color. I don't know, but it looks like this. I just like the color. This one is in the shade 64 Princess Charming. I just thought this was really pretty. I actually think I'm going to paint my nails with this today. So now I'm just like kind of taking a break from the nail salon. I'm like, I want to just paint my nails and do different things. But I probably will go back to doing gels here. Not like soon, but in the future definitely. Because my nails, they no color will stick to my nails like it's just i'm too rough on my hands that's just how i am i've always been that way so yeah but dude i need like to put some concealer i've got like bags i must i'm not tired i don't feel tired i feel good but i got the serious bags underneath my eyes <laughs> and now to head over to my p.o box get that stuff and then get my chipotle and hopefully call i'm gonna call the dog groomers they've been there since nine and it's already 12 30 so it's been a while. I This is what I usually always get. I get white rice with black beans, steak, and cheese, and that's it, with a side of wok, and then some chips. And I'm getting ready to watch that Shane Dawson thing on TanaCon. Oh my god, yeah. We'll talk about it later, but um, I called for the dogs. They still have another 45 minutes. I feel so bad they've been there for so long. But I'm gonna eat, watch this, and then go pick them up. Hi, little Ollie man. Hey, can we see your bandana? You look so cute and ready for 4th of July. I think Elsa went upstairs. Hey, Ollie, come back down here. Ollie, you don't have a diaper on. Come back. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie man, come here. You're making me walk. You're lucky I have to grab my SD card anyways. You guys, I still have this massive heavy box from CoverGirl, which I know is the new foundations. I have yet to open it. I will open you new very soon. But let me go find my dogs. Do not pee in my house, Ollie. I don't want you peeing. Okay. Hey, Elsa. Can we see how you look? Can we? Oh, you look so pretty. Oh, seriously? Seriously? No, don't rub your butt on my... Oh, Elsa, stop. You look... Are you pissed off? I heard... No! I heard you weren't the best. I got this little guy right here. Hi, cutie pie. You look so handsome. Put you down. So, I'm supposed to film those remaining clips for Ipsy, but I'm, I can already tell even before I'm to go pick up the dogs that I'm crashing. I'm gonna drink a Gatorade for some electrolytes and I'm just gonna edit because I have to edit that video for tomorrow and that has to be done anyways. Like I can't put that off. We don't get that much sunlight in here, which sucks, but I'll turn on the lights, grab my laptop, got everything here. So I'm gonna edit real quick and I will check in. I'm so tired right now. I honestly like was starting to fall asleep, take a nap and then they finally called. Nine to two, you guys, that's a long time. Hey, you're in my sleeping chair. You're in my sleeping chair. Look at you too. You guys are so cute. You guys are so cute. Okay, it's time to edit now. Hey guys, so as you can tell, I am ending my vlogs all right now. I'm catching up on all my vlogs, so I wanna do proper outros for them. But thank you guys so much for watching, and also make sure to go over to my main channel. I am doing a back to school giveaway. It is ginormous. There is tons of school supplies. There are tons of makeup products in it too, and it's a collab with Danielle Ray, so she's doing one as well. So make sure to go enter that. It's on my main channel, and you just have to click the link in the description box. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Give this a thumbs up, and and I will see you guys in my next vlog.